Episode 3. Uh, as you guys can see, we're not at the JRP engine build room anymore. That's because me and my partner have actually parted ways, so JRP has been dissolved, but I'm still building engines from my house. and uh, So I actually on, operate under Ronnie Build, so I still offer all the services like I did before. Uh, this is pretty much my garage turned into an engine build room. As you guys can see, we have some engine build tables, all my measuring equipment, my torque plates, and everything that I need to assemble engines. On top of that, we have a porting station over here so we still offer full in-house porting engine building tuning diagnosis all that stuff I've actually teamed up with the uh, Chevy race as well so I'm tuning for them on the weekends uh, so if you guys want a dyno tune you can hit up Chevy race uh, I also have a garage about two streets down from here that I do all the mechanical work if I need to take engines out and stuff like that so I still offer everything that I used to whenever I was at JRP and today I really wanted to talk about uh, this new engine room which you guys will get a glimpse of shortly when my good friend Sal you know takes the shots but aside from that I wanted to talk about this 4B11 block and how it's different from the 4G63 stuff that you guys are used to seeing on the videos and Instagram and stuff like that uh, and I would say the biggest difference is that this is an aluminum block now what we do is we actually remove the factory cylinder liners and we put these uh, wet LA sleeve uh, wet sleeves in there so these are ductile iron sleeves so they're much harder than the 4g63 material uh, the you know the cast blocks that are super strong so these are actually stronger than that and what we do is obviously you know this gets cnc cut and we take the factory liners we completely remove them these get press fit in there and uh, before this gets press fit we deck the block and then we install the sleeves and when we do that what happens is it actually protrudes about two to three thousandths so what that does is it actually acts like a glorified o-ring so it basically makes a better seal on the head gasket itself around the combustion combustion chamber um that's pretty much the biggest difference from a 4g63 the other difference is uh, the 4b11 has four bolt main caps uh, the 4g63 has uh, two bolt main girdle so it's a girdle that ties everything together uh which is very strong to begin with but the uh, 4b11 stuff is i would say just as strong uh it's just not tied together but you know it is a four bolt and these actually get torqued down quite a bit more um on top of that what we do on every single block that we do is we actually make sure that the main bore alignment is perfect we actually align home them most of the time with the arp main stuff to make sure they're true perfect circle and they're all straight so whenever you put the crankshaft in there it just moves in and out freely so to, you know you don't have any steps between main tunnels and uh, what that helps with also is bearing clearance you don't get variations from uh, you know tunnel to tunnel it's very little if you get any um, aside from that we're still using the Carrillo Pro Edge beams as of right now so these are great great rods you know we've had cars that have made you know over 9 950 horsepower dyno jet numbers uh, in excess of 50 pounds of boost uh, and these use the car bolts so these are the proprietary bolts these are kind of comparable to the ARP 625s but I feel like these are better bolts uh, they, they are better bolts um, and then as far as the pistons go I'm still using the JRP Gen 1 pistons that I had for the builds that I'm currently doing uh, the new Gen 2 pistons are going to be Ronnie built pistons, so they'll have a laser etching that says Ronnie built. And then we'll also incorporate a vertical gas ports along with the horizontal, so you'll get better dynamic compression, uh, less blow by. So the more boost you throw in the cylinder, the more you can keep it in the cylinder and less in the actual crankcase. So, another thing that uh, we've incorporated into these pistons, the Gen 2 pistons, is we've moved from the NPR ring packs, which are great ring packs to begin with, but uh, this was a great addition and uh, has a lot of benefits, and I'll explain shortly. But basically, we've moved from the NPR stuff to the Total Seal ring packs, uh, and one major advantage is that the top ring, we've actually moved to a Total Seal AP proprietary top steel ring, which is about 0.2 millimeters thicker. Uh, and the biggest advantage of that is because it is thicker, it actually dissipates heat in the cylinder better and uh, also the expan expansion rate is less so the rings are less likely to butt ends and uh, you know 
with the drawback of having slightly more drag on the cylinders because it is a thicker ring. But in general, I felt like it was a great addition. You know, obviously, the pistons have to get accommodated for that because the ring groove has to actually get wider. Um, but aside from that, we're also offering, you know, these are S13 tool steel pins. So these are actually 210 valve wall thickness for the 4B11 stuff. And uh, for the 4G63 pistons that I offer, they're 225 wall and they're etched 13 tool steel. So if you compare this to like a regular Manly or a CP pin that's a 9310 alloy, this has about 100,000 PSI higher tensile strength than those. Uh, so these pins are almost impossible to break. Uh, these are actually rated for about 12, 1300 horsepower and the 4G63 stuff is upwards of 1500 horsepower. Another addition to this is I'm starting to offer DLC coatings for the S13 pins, which is stands for diamond-like uh, coating. Uh, and basically what that does is it reduces the expansion rate a lot. And uh, it actually almost eliminates, uh, you know, galling and stuff like that. If you ever, you know, don't lubricate the pin properly uh, or whenever the engine's running, it doesn't get enough lubrication and stuff like that. So it's very unlikely for it to gall and stuff. And it becomes an extremely tough material. And on top of that, people that really, really want to abuse their cars and, you know, it's going to be a nitrous motor, they're going to make an excess of like a thousand horsepower and they're going to beat on it every day. We offer the TP1 uh, trend pins that are much, much stronger than the S13 stuff and they're rated for about 2000 horsepower. So, uh, you know, that adds another $600 to the bill of the piston, but um, it's something that you can't buy off shop. I mean, it's, it's just something that's, it was developed for NASCAR and funny cars and top fuel dragsters and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it guys, just wanted to show you guys the new engine room, just kind of give you guys an update and just do a quick comparison between the 4B11s and the 4G63s. Thank you for watching. And one, two, and three. What's going on guys, Ronnie?